The hour cometh and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Good morning to you. I'm Father Jonathan Rowe. I'm the parish priest at St. Michael's Anglican Church, the church in Kenmount Terrace. It is Friday, the 4th of February, and I want to thank you for joining us as we gather online to pray the office of morning prayer. Let's light our candles, let's connect our prayers and intentions to the prayers of God's people throughout the world. And when we're ready, the service of morning prayer will begin on page six in the Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O come, let us worship. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his, and he made it, and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us bow down, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O that ye would hear his voice, Harden not your hearts as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and said, It is a people that do err in their hearts, for they have not known my ways. Unto whom I swear in my wrath, that they should not enter into my rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord is gracious and merciful. O come, let us worship. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 69, on page 413. Save me, O God. For the waters are come in, even unto my soul. I stick fast in the deep mire where no ground is. I am come into deep waters, so that the floods run over me. I am weary of crying, my throat is dry, my sight faileth me for waiting so long upon my God. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head. They that are mine enemies and would destroy me guiltless are mighty. I paid them the things that I never took. God, thou knowest my foolishness, and my faults are not hid from thee. Let not them that trust in thee be ashamed for my cause, O Lord God of hosts. Let not those that seek thee be confounded through me, O God of Israel. And why? For thy sake I have suffered reproach. Shame hath covered my face. I am become a stranger unto my brethren, even an alien unto my mother's children. For the zeal of thine house hath even eaten me, and the reproaches of them that reproached thee are fallen upon me. I wept and chastened myself with fasting, and that was turned to my reproach. I put on sackcloth also, and they jested upon me. They that sit in the gate talk about me, and the drunkards make songs upon me. But, Lord, I make my prayer unto thee in an acceptable time. 
Hear me, O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, even in the truth of thy salvation. Take me out of the mire that I sink not. O let me be delivered from them that hate me, and out of the deep waters. Let not the water flood drown me, neither let the deep swallow me up, and let not the pit shut her mouth upon me. Hear me, O Lord, for thy loving kindness is comfortable. Turn thee unto me according to the multitude of thy mercies. And hide not thy face from thy servant, for I am in trouble. O haste thee and hear me. Draw nigh unto my soul and save it. O deliver me because of mine enemies. Thou knowest my reproach, my shame, and my dishonor. Mine adversaries are all in thy sight. Reproach hath broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for some to have pity on me, but there was no man, neither found I any to comfort me. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty they gave me vinegar to drink. But as for me, when I am poor and in heaviness, thy help, O God, shall lift me up. I will praise the name of God with a song, and magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox, or a bullock that hath horns and hoofs. The humble shall consider this and be glad. Seek ye after God, and your soul shall live. For the Lord heareth the poor, and despiseth not his prisoners. Let heaven and earth praise him, the sea and all that moveth therein. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, that men may dwell there and have it in possession. The posterity also of his servants shall inherit it, and they that love his name shall dwell therein. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is written in the book Genesis, the 24th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in years, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. And Abraham said to his servant, the oldest of his house, who had charge of all that he had, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and of the earth, that you will not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell, but will go to my country and to my kindred and take a wife for my son Isaac. The servant said to him, Perhaps the woman may, woman may not be willing to follow me to this land. Must I then take your son back to the land from which you came? Abraham said to him, See to it that you do not take my son back there. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and from the land of my birth, and who spoke to me and swore to me, To your descendants I will give this land. He will send his angel before you, and you shall take a wife for my son from there. But if the woman is not willing to follow you, then you will be free from this oath of mine, only you must not take my son back there. So the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham his master, and swore to him concerning this matter. Then the servant took ten of his master's camels and departed, taking all sorts of choice gifts from his master. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia to the city of Nahor. And he made the camels kneel down outside the city by the well of water at the time of evening, the time when women go out to draw water. And he said, O Lord, God of my master Abraham, grant me success today, I pray thee, and show steadfast love to my master Abraham. Behold, I am standing by the spring of water, and the daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Let the maiden to whom I shall say, Pray, let down your jar that I may drink. And who shall say, Drink, and I will water your camels. Let her be the one whom thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. By this I shall know that thou hast shown steadfast love to my master. 
Before he had done speaking, behold, Rebekah, who was born to Bethuel, the son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abraham's brother, came out with her water jar upon her shoulder. The maiden was very fine to look at. <clears throat> a, vir a virgin whom no man had known. <clears throat> she went down to the spring and filled her jar and came up. Then the servant ran to meet her and said, Pray, give me a little water to drink from your jar. She said, Drink, my lord. And she quickly let down her jar upon her hand and gave him a drink. When she had finished giving him a drink, she said, I will draw for your camels also until they have done drinking. So she quickly emptied her, draw, her jar into the trough and ran again to the well to draw, and she drew for all his camels. The man gazed at her in silence to learn whether the Lord had prospered his journey or not. When the camels had done drinking, the man took a gold ring weighing half a shekel and two bracelets for her arms weighing ten gold shekels and said, Tell me whose daughter you are. Is there room in your father's house for us to lodge in? She said to him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, whom she bore to Nahor. She added, We have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. The man bowed his head and worshipped the Lord and said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, who has not forsaken his steadfast love and his faithfulness towards my master. As for me, the Lord has led me in the way to the house of my master's kinsman. Here endeth the first lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer continues on page 7. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The father of an infinite majesty. Thine honorable, true, and only son. Also the Holy Ghost, the comforter. Thou art the king of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting son of the father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God, in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints, in glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee, and we worship thy name ever world without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy lighten upon us as our trust is in thee. O Lord, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be confounded. The second lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. John, the seventh chapter, beginning at the first verse. After this, Jesus went about in Galilee. He would not go about in Judea because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. So his brethren said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, that your disciples may see the works you are doing. For no man works in secret if he seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For even his brethren did not believe in him. Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify of it that its works are evil. Go to the feast yourselves. I am not going up to this feast, for my time has not yet fully come. So saying, he remained in Galilee. 
But after his brethren had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. The Jews were looking for him at the feast and saying, Where is he? And there was much muttering about him among the people. While some said, He is a good man, others said, No, he is leading the people astray. Yet, for fear of the Jews, no one spoke openly of him. Here endeth the second lesson. The Office of Morning Prayer begin, continues on page 9. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, shalt be called the prophet of the highest, For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And you, thy ministers, with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, who knowest us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright, grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, 
who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who didst stretch out thine arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of thy saving embrace. So clothe us in thy spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know thee to the knowledge and love of thee, for the honor of thy name. Amen. I invite your prayers this morning for all those who are in need of prayer, whether they have particularly asked us to pray for them or whether the Spirit of God has put it into our hearts to pray. As we make intercession for them this morning, we remember that we are coming into God's presence with them on our hearts. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thanks for praying again with us this this morning. I hope that these daily services of morning and evening prayer are a blessing for you. I hope, too, that until the next time we meet, that you're good, that you're safe. God bless you and take care of each other. Bye-bye.